What's up everyone, it's Scotty with Money Vesting. In this video, I've got one stock that is gonna be reporting earnings tomorrow morning, which also does seem like a very, very good opportunity, in my opinion, for a potential swing trading opportunity, but also from a long-term investing standpoint. Now, this is a company that is not profitable yet, so it is very unusual of us to be talking about this company on the channel from both a long-term perspective and also from a swing trading perspective because of the fact that they're not profitable yet. Yet is the keyword here because they are now turning the corner towards profitability and that's exactly why it is becoming interesting to me now moving forward. So hope you guys enjoy this video, find it helpful. If you do, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're just joining us for the first time, Link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining. Of course, getting access to all the buy and sell alerts, options alerts, trade ideas, everything's going to be included, as well as members only private videos, the intrinsic value spreadsheet. There's a lot of other educational benefits, and I will be posting a lot of members only private videos going over asset allocation, risk management, my plans over the next several decades. Yes, I will be going over a lot of specifics on what I'm planning to do with alternative investments, commodities real estate, stocks, private equity, watches, everything is going to be discussed in those videos. So again, links are going to be down below if you want to join, of course, be a part of our money vesting community. So the company that we are talking about today is going to be C Limited, ticker symbol SE, trading at just under $57 per share. They are going to be reporting earnings tomorrow morning uh, before the markets open. 65 cents per share is going to be that EPS with revenues of just under 3.6. Uh, 3.26 billion dollars is going to be that number very very nice consistent growth in revenue they've pretty much gone from 827 million to over 12.4 billion dollars and if you take a look at the last couple of quarters they have reported profitable numbers here so it is a company that's based out of singapore mobile platform company engages in the provision of online gaming uh, e-commerce digital entertainment financial services, so kind of like an Amazon uh, and Shopify and some of those other companies, but they're obviously based out of uh, Singapore. So headquartered in Singapore, uh, they basically started in 2009. So, you know, this is a very, very volatile stock, volatile company. It has obviously been selling off in this 2022 bear market from highs of 400. It's dropped over 86%. At one point, obviously, it was down a little bit over almost 90% from its highs, trading at just under 40 dollars per share so want to go over exactly the company's fundamentals and they're not as bad as it seems because the company just because the stock price is down 90 percent doesn't mean the company is doing really bad right in fact the revenue has grown from 155 million to over 12.5 billion dollars gross profit has gone from 36.2 million to 5.4 billion and of course operating losses every single year they've generated operating losses but the tides are turning they are turning the corner towards profitability and that's exactly why it's getting a little bit more exciting now. Uh, Dilute shares outstanding have gone substantially higher from 131 million to 560 million. But more recently though, from 436 to 560, that's about a 6% compounded annual rate for how much they have diluted shares. And EBITDA also has been negative for the company, but trailing 12 months, you can see that positive number right there, 67.5 million, that's up from negative 704 million in 2022 uh, the balance sheet here is also very strong for the company so if you come down to the balance sheet 6.6 .6 billion dollars worth of cash 4.5 billion dollars of debt they've got negative net debt that's exactly what we want to see is the company can't really go bankrupt here because they've got more cash than overall debt and current ratio and quick ratio are also over one debt to free cash flow doesn't really matter right now because the company does have more cash than debt but they do have negative free cash flow, which eventually can and will potentially turn positive uh, is, is when the company will again turn the corner towards profitability and positive free cash flow. 43% gross profit margins. Everything else is still negative at the moment because like I said earlier, not profitable right now. EPS again expected at 46 cents per share on a gap basis, 71 cents per share on a non-gap basis and 3.2 billion dollars is going to be that revenue expectations. Now, when it comes to forecasted EPS, the growth rate is expected at around just under 27% from 281 to 453, and revenue is expected to eclipse over $27 billion by 2032. And valuation, again, a little bit over 20 times non gap forward number, and price to earnings on a gap basis forward at just under 35 
price to sales a little bit over two and a half and price to cash flow definitely a lot higher because the company either has negative free cash flow or a very low free cash flow. So that's overall business here, okay? So we've got a company that is consistently growing revenues. We've got consistently growing gross profit, operating income and net income now on the verge of turning to, to the corner towards profitability. Margins will potentially get better here and the balance sheet's phenomenal with more cash and little to no debt. So negative net debt, good current ratio, good quick, good quick ratio. The only problem here is uh, of course going to be this number the margins are not that great but again there's a possibility of them to get better um, and, and free cash flow obviously is also negative at the moment as well so there is some pros and cons with this uh, but if you take a look at our spreadsheet here and let's just price in a 27 percent that's the growth rate expected in the next couple of years i'm going to go with a lower number i'm actually going to go with 20 percent not 25 not 28 not 27 we're going to go with 20 percent growth rate for net income for C limited over the course of the next five years. I'm going to go with 20 times P multiple, which is going to be a lot lower than where it's trading at the moment. And also it's going to be in line with the growth rate. The discount rate is going to be 12%, 10% margin of safety and six and a half percent share dilution. Exactly what the company has done over the last five years. We get down to a fair value of $52 per share. And the market price is trading at just under $57 dollars per share for this company at the moment if you come over to the technicals now here's the swing trading potential for the stock it is obviously oversold coming down with an rsi macd definitely been selling off quite a lot right so trading as low as 40 macd has been selling off as well trading at support levels i do believe that if the company reports let's say a miss uh, in the morning tomorrow, right? If the earnings and the revenue doesn't come in line and the guidance is not that great, it's possible that the stock price drops over 10, maybe 12, 15%, whatever the, that number is. But we've got up until 19 or 20% for the stock to come down to $45, which is where it would be the perfect risk reward trade off, in my opinion, because then we'll have a support at 4067. And if you formulate a trade plan over here at that support, let's just say that there is potential for uh, C limited to come down to 45. We've got a stop loss right under 40. That's about a 12% potential downside and a target up to $73 representing a 61% upside potential for C limited. That's considering a entry at around $45. Even if, if, even if there's an entry, let's say at $55, there is a resistance and a target up to 73. That's a 32% potential upside. And at that point, we're obviously going to keep our risk a little bit more you know shorter than than where we were at $45 because a breakdown below this support at 55 is when we're going to cut our losses and get that stop loss triggered and that's going to be about a 5% uh, potential risk there for C limited. So those right there are going to be a couple of potential trade ideas that you may want to look into. Definitely do your own due diligence on these like I said before this is not financial advice, but do your risk analysis, understand whether it makes sense to you because intrinsic value wise it's going to be sitting roughly in the 50s. Uh, of course, you want it to be as undervalued as possible. So even in the 49 sub $50 level. Um, and then of course, $45, 40 bucks, very, very strong areas of support for C limited. So even if it does drop after the earnings, um, I think there is going to be potential for us to retrade it back higher on us on a swing possibility, considering that they report some good numbers and the stock price still ends up dropping lower. So Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I do see potential with C Limited as a company and turning the corner towards profitability. I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, value to be unlocked with this company in Singapore and of course globally as well. So tomorrow we're going to find out whether they can report a positive number and EPS and revenue of $3.2 billion last quarter. They did report a miss and the stock price did end up dropping a little bit over 18% that week and then dropped another 13% the following week. Uh, to basically trade as low as $56. So like I said, if you do see a drop, 45, low 40s are going to be some good areas to look into for a potential swing trade. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. If you did, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining. As always, happy investing. and I'll see you all in the next video.